So if you're writing your own email and text content and templates to put in a drip campaign, I'm guessing you're probably struggling a little bit on what it is that you want to say to people. So I've got a little list here of some things that are going to help you, some tips and ideas to help you create better content and easier um, templates for yourself. Uh, and again, if you are struggling even writing anything, don't forget that I've got drip campaigns too. So um, you, you've got access to that too if you want to get them. But anyway, I, if you're writing your stuff, let's go in and talk about the tips that I recommend that you consider when you are writing your own email and text templates. So let's go in and get that done. All right, so top tips when you're writing it. Create email and text templates when you're saying the same thing over and over and over again. So that's kind of the responsive side of this. But, you know, if somebody says, uh, you know, who's your lender, don't keep writing this thing over and over again. Have a template ready for it. So you can just go in there and click on it and send the dang thing, right? Um, create responsive templates, which is that what I'm saying offer services and provide informative content. And I think I mentioned yesterday about the website links, the buyer advisory, we have a buyer advisory here in Arizona that we, there's a ton of links. Do not use all caps, it will scare people away. And it looks like you're yelling at them. Keep them professional if you can, but casual. Keep your email short, use bullet points when you're trying to send them more information. Personalize as much as possible. Property addresses, anything you can add that are specific to that person, if you can, while you're writing individual content. But if you're going to do a template and you work, like I was saying yesterday, maybe two or three different cities, you might have campaigns for each of those cities so that the, you know, it automatically pulls the city information in automatically or, you know, whatever it is, a price range that you're promoting. Use their name as much as possible without sounding canned. Use hot button words, but don't go crazy there because it looks ad advertising. Ask open-ended questions so you can get an open-ended answer. Always ask for a response or an appointment. We talked about yesterday. Use spell check if you can, if you're, if you're bad at that. And, you know, this is a great reason why you'd want to get templates. I can tell you, I'm at this point in my life almost 60, by the way. I'm 10 months away. <laughs> um, but when... I type now, I skip words, I'm finding. And I think it's because my brain is going faster than my old wrinkly hands. So if you know you are that person and have issues, make sure that you do your best. But here's what I'm also going to say. Don't get your pants in a twist over typos because typos make you look human. And those typos actually, you can, I, you know, there's automation that you can do a lot. And actually, if you set up a drip campaign with a text template in it that has a purposeful typo in it. And then your next template comes out like a minute later saying, oops, sorry. Or, you know, that looks real, you know, so that's a tip. <laughs> so you can do that. And it's okay if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. And if you get a template of mine, it's got a typo in it. Well, I'm sorry, but we're all human, you know, and that happens. Fix it. Um, Add some links to your emails and texts, which I think is a great idea because what we talked about yesterday was the open rates being a, becoming more challenging to be accurate because of the iOS. And for those of you who missed yesterday, the iOS uh, 15 changes with Apple um, is going to cause your open rates to be kind of funky. But when people are clicking on your links in your emails, that's going to be a better sign, at least for now, until Apple comes around and pull something else out of their butt. But, you know, so for right now, that's going to give you a really good indicator on how well your emails are doing, if they're getting open, if they're getting clicks. And those clicks get you get them over to your website, right? So that's what you want is always send them to a page on your site. And they don't always have to go to your homepage. In our system, I tell the agents, you know, you can add a link in the profile area. It does not have to be your homepage. It can be anywhere. It can be anything you want. Send them where you want them to go. Right. And if you're running an ad, maybe that week, you can send them somewhere else, whatever. Always send active list of homes, which we talked about earlier, and then create video these days. You really want to try to do that. It's so popular. It's really key. And you really want to try to add video as much as you can to what you're doing. And I know many of us in this world are doing video marketing right now. Many of you are here because you saw me on video at some point out there on YouTube and it works and it's free, you guys. If you want the name of a really good YouTube uh, training, let me know and I'll get you the link to it. 
um, because it's amazing and it's free. You just have to plan to work it because there's work involved, but it'll be worth it. And you're going to get much more committed people that are stalking you better leads than you would than a cold lead you get off of Zillow. Trust me. So you should get into it.